In this video, I'll show you how to use Photoshop to make banners and channel art for any site including popular sites like Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. You'll be able to use your choice of characters and backgrounds. We'll also cover adding text so that you can clearly see it on the banner, and we'll also go over adding special effects and coloring. I'll make a few banners with these sites in mind so you can follow along and learn how to create one of your own for whatever site you want. If you need Photoshop, you can get it for free from the links under this video. You want to install it and open it. You'll also want to gather pics for your banner to represent your profile, channel, Twitter, or whatever. For those last two, what I mean is if you're going to use anime and game characters, I recommend also searching for backgrounds without people on them, like this, to put behind the character renders like this. There's thousands of backgrounds and renders online, and we'll use some in this video with streamers and gamers and reviewers in mind. First open up Photoshop and make sure layer and tool windows are open under the Windows tab. They need to be checked. Make a new canvas and set the size of the banner you want to make. It's best to make a separate banner for each site because they all use different sizes. For example, right now these are the current sizes of YouTube and Twitter and Twitch banners, and you enter these dimensions when you make your canvas in Photoshop. But first, if you don't know what size a banner needs to be for a site and Google doesn't help you, try right-clicking a banner on the site and choosing Inspect and click the upper left tool in Inspect Element. Then hover over the banner to find its size. This works sometimes, but not always. And here's the size of this layouts banner found with the same tool. So if I want to make a banner for Twitter, I'll make a canvas of this size, since Google is telling me this is the size right now for it. Now we can add some images by dragging them right onto the canvas. We can start with this Overwatch screenshot on our Twitter canvas to show we like and also play as D.Va from Overwatch. Now let's say instead of that, I decide I want to use this one instead. Then all I do is drag it on top of the image. Notice they both show up here in the layer window, and any image we drag into the canvas will show up here as well. You can turn off any image here by clicking the eye next to them, or move images in front of each other here as well. The topmost image is the one in front, and you can even delete them from here as well. You can also move the images with the Move tool and resize them and rotate them with Free Transform under Edit. Just select the layer of the image you want to change first, then select the tool. When using Free Transform, always click this chain down so that your images have equal proportions. Now, if that's all we wanted for our banner, it would look like this on our Twitter. And that's nice, and it would be a good completed banner, but let's say I wanted to add more images, like some screenshots on the side of this banner. I could drag in some more images the normal way, but it will look better and give us more options if we use the Shape tool and make a shape over the original image on the side where we want the next pick. Then we add our screenshot over the shape and make sure the screenshot layer is above the shape in the layer window. And then we right click the screenshots layer and choose clipping mask. Now we can easily move the background around and it won't overflow on our original pick because it stays clipped to the square we made. I'll do the same with the right side. Now we have a nice D.Va banner with two of my screenshots on the side. I used game characters and screenshots, but you can use screenshot from another game or any other wallpaper or background or characters or series that you want. And you can also add real photos and other images on top of the banner where you want. It's up to you. And later on, we'll add text and some effects to our banners, but I want to make a few more banners to demonstrate other techniques and sites. Now before, we dragged in wallpaper and screenshots but we could instead add a background on a Twitter canvas without people on it, and then add a render on top. So here we got an Apex Legends render, which would be good if you were an Apex player or streamer. You can also use the eraser tool to erase watermarks from renders, and again, use the move tool to move images and squares, and free transform under edit to resize and rotate images. Just select the layer 
of the image you want to change first, then select the tool. Then we could add more renders from other games you stream or play, and more backgrounds um, on top of the banner using the shape tool and clipping mask technique I showed you earlier. When you're done adding images, it's very important to make sure all the image layers are above the correct squares in the layer window, and all using the clipping mask so they clip to the square underneath them. Another example is you could be an anime watcher or a reviewer, and you want to add anime wallpapers to the banner. Then using the shape tool to make squares, you could add four parts to it and drag your wallpapers on top, and then use the clippy mask on them. Now I've made banners for Twitter so far, but there's an important note when it comes to making YouTube banners, or as they call it, channel art. YouTube wants really big channel art for TVs, but on mobile and PCs and laptops, it only shows a small portion of that channel art, which you can somewhat zoom in on. So I suggest for YouTube channel art, rather than dragging in a wallpaper or screenshot, you add a large background to your canvas without people on it, and then you add a render for the character you like near the middle, or use other pics that represent you near the middle. This way, you'll fill the entire channel art on TVs nicely, but also have something for the zoomed-in part seen on most devices. Move all of your character's faces, pictures, and text towards the middle of the channel art background. It's easier to pinpoint where the center is by using guidelines as well, like I am here. Remember, these are just examples for you to learn and copy from if you'd like. You can choose whatever shapes and whatever images and arrangement you want for the perfect banner. Now after the images are set, you can add text. And we have two options here. You can use the Photoshop text tool to add text you want, and then right-click the text layer and use blending options of the text to customize it with glows, texture, shadowing, and more. And remember to keep text towards the middle for YouTube banners and for Twitter, keep text a little away from the edges, as I do here, since they cut off the edge of your banner even when it's the recommended size. You can also use the cool text text generator to make custom text, then drag it into the app and place it where you want. This text can also be customized with blending options. This is a good option because there's a lot of font types on cool text for a variety of styles and banners.
Now, the banner should be complete with that, but if you want to add more special effects, you should check my wallpaper video where I go into many special effects like glows, light orbs, and recoloring. I'll do some special effects and recoloring here though, but if you want a complete and detailed explanation, uh, please see the wallpaper video linked under this video. Also, if you notice your images are blurry, it may be because they're too small, so try the Waifu 2X app so you can increase the size and quality of your pics. When you're ready to save your work and export your banner, save it as a PSD to save the project so you can work on it later. Save it as a PNG or JPEG to export the wallpaper to use it on the site you want.
So good luck and share your banners with me because I do love to see them.